I have been using Clementine Music Player for, I don't know, quite a few years now, and it really is my favourite music player. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the features of it, because to be honest I don't think I'm going to get through all of them. So one thing I really like about the player is the presentation. You have the album artwork in the background, this mood bar on the right hand side, I suppose it doesn't really serve a huge purpose, just shows you some of what the music might look like or feel like in the track. When you do play, pause and next, you've got a pop up in the right hand side, well for me it's right hand side where I've customised it, so that is a customised on screen display there. The mode I use it in most of the time is the dynamic random mix. You can select by individual album, so I could clear that lot off there, and choose to play, well, let's say, A Dreamer and Loving You. So that's one way I can use it. You can play from your favourite tracks, the ones you've never played, newest, oldest, so there's quite a few options there. Or you can create custom playlists, that's something I've never really tried, never really felt the need to do that. but. For some people, that feature is essential, so yes, it exists now in Clementine. You can play from a variety of internet sources. So I was mucking around with the Gemendo source earlier, and they've got a dynamic random mix here. It takes a little bit longer to load up this one, and I don't seem to get the mood of it here as well, so it's a bit annoying. I don't know why that is, I, to be honest, I've never really tried it enough, so I can't really comment there. So you can add some podcasts in. It does come with some pre-installed, so I've got BBC, gpodder.net, and searching iTunes. So can I enter a specific URL, not the one I have in clipboard, which was to install the updates for Clementine, because I wanted to bump on a few versions and make sure I had the latest copy. I'll try for my own podcast feed. Let's try it, see what happens. Yes, so it's an RSS feed. Yeah, so I can add it, and now I've got the latest feed. Hello everyone and welcome to a week of Linux news for the 21st of May. And hello quids, how are you? Oh yes, very nice, that works. To be honest, I've never really used these other features, so well, we've got integration with Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Spotify, as well as the rest of the others that you can see on the list. I'm not going to read all those out. With Spotify, you do have to install an extra plugin, and I suppose you've got to be signed up with it, so it's not something I've tried. I suppose the devices will be if you've got some portable music player connected to your computer, you can play from that. The song info, well, let's go and play a song, hopefully something that might be in the list. Uh, so as you can see I'll have quite a random collection, let's try for Bon Jovi. Living on a prayer. Better not play that though, I don't want to fall foul of uh, YouTube's copyright laws, but let's see if the song info works. Well I would have thought it would, <laughs> yeah. So some information from Last FM. Total number of plays and number of other listeners. Wikipedia, the lyrics. Does the artist info work? Oh, it does! I finally found one. I was clicking through so many songs earlier and just could not find one. So yes, that was a good choice to go for with Bon Jovi. So that describes most of the player, really. So we've got this uh, love button as well. If you particularly like a track, you might want to remind yourself of it. Let's have a look at some of the options as well. So extras. You can make a rain noise. For whatever reason, I don't know. All glory to the Hypnotoad. Anyone who has watched Futurama will know what that is. The last two options have only just been added, and I, I don't know what they actually do. I've not managed to get them working, so I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's not working on my system. But I've never seen them before, not really sure what they're supposed to be. Um, I suppose kittens is fairly obvious there on the title, it would make cat noises, wouldn't it? Got the options for an equaliser. You can do transcoding. Look at the preferences. So playback. Fading between songs. That is quite a nice effect, I quite like having that really. So it just fades when you're starting and stopping the song. Various changes you can set on the behaviour. Proxies, transcoding, different options for transcoding. Network remote. <laughs> you can also do this remote feature through KDE Connect as well, so that would probably be the option I would take because that option already exists on my operating system and I have the app on my phone. Remote support, <sighs> something I don't have. Custom shortcuts, can be very useful. Appearance. So this is the default settings you can change on like the fonts, the album cover, 
the mood bar style, so you can have some different colours. I've kept it to a normal one. The happy is a bit too bold, and for the others they kind of stay a bit too much like static colours, so angry goes between orange and red. Frozen is a bit too grey, and the system colours for me would be very much blue and cyan. The notifications, so you can change the on-screen display and change the colours. And the various internet providers you can go and log into. So yeah, that covers quite a few of the features in Clementine. The last one I'll show you is the visualisations. Now, I don't know if this might affect anyone with epilepsy. I'm hoping it won't do the flashing bit, but I'm just going to warn you right now, just in case it does. So on the visualisations, these are Project M visualisations that have uh, that have been in Kodi. So yeah, I quite like these visualisations. They go on random for a very long time, but I don't think it flicks them quite as quick as Kodi does. So Clementine is free open source and is available for quite a few different operating systems. Well thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.